Hello folks and welcome back to By Spring. We're here at the crack of dawn here. Uh, we've got a lot of work to do. We've got mowing to do. We've got the harvest to do. So we've got all of our equipment now ready. But you may have seen on the top right corner, mine's gone down a bit. That's because an interesting piece of equipment popped up in the used market. Obviously it was all about getting the Deutz Far 9 series. A powerful tractor, nearly 300 horsepower. But, so yeah. So we've got our tomatoes. Are they? Yeah, tomatoes loaded up. And we've got our strawberries crated up. But we're not going to worry about that for now. We're going to drop the trailer here. And that's because we need to go into our pickup here. Head to the shop. And go ahead and pick up some new equipment we've required because one of the equipment that we did require was a basically a green bin that so when we're working the field we've got somewhere to put the green in the trader it's okay but it's got road tires and that and we don't get stuck in the field and that so that's why we decided to get a green bin so even as like a smallish one uh, was like 20,000 years or so. Anyway, we so head to the shop and then we'll have a look at what we've bought. So here we are at the shop and is it here or is it in one of the garage bays? I think it's in one of the bays over here so... Anyway, so hop out. I think it's, oh yeah, I see it. So let's have a look at what we've bought. There we go. A John Deere 7R270 with a Parker 6500 green car. So let's hop in there. Oh, shit, it's out. We've got a deer on this farm. And immediately we've almost wrecked it. Oh, good job, Envoy. That's how we do it around here. It's literally wreck things. As soon as we get them. There we go, that's better. So, shop has gone and services because we did buy it second hand at 58, well, 48.50% off, I think it was. But yeah, the sheet looking too bad. Paint work. Actually, not too bad. It's almost decent, actually. It's pretty much all goods. Look underneath, all goods. May do a quick inspection when let's get back to the farm to make sure everything's all fine. But I trust the shopping out of their working out. They've helped us out many times before, so. Ooh, what's this? Some horse equipment. Oh, they look nice. May get some of those at some point. But yeah, so this is a 300 horsepower tractor. And it's our first large tractor officially on the farm. 28 months old, 31.5 work hours on it. Top speed, 31 miles an hour. And yeah, it's a decent sized tractor and that, and it's got opportunity to go up to 388 horsepower. And that's with the tuned engine. May inquire the shop about putting that new engine in. A fellow deer there. And this is how, yeah, it's got a star system on top. So let's go with GPS and that. So yeah, we'll get us back to the farm, and then we'll use this for green car in. Oh, oh, go on then, go. Christ. Oh, heck okay, I'm going to take here. So yeah, we'll get us back to the farm, and then I think we'll start with the harvesting, I think. If it's dry enough, if the moisture content is okay, but 
we're gonna have to check on that to make sure it's not too wet otherwise may have to incur a fee there and there we go taking the 7.7 .7 out for its first time first time using this brand new combine so I am looking forward to using it so we've got our three outfields to harvest they shouldn't take too long to harvest but yeah we'll get us hooked up oh come on yeah lines there we go just over the header section we'll to make sure everything's all hooked up yeah hoses and pipes are all good the actual hitching system looks good and secure PTO, I am happy with that. So make sure we've got Strawswaff turned on. There we go. So yeah, we'll get some straw out of this. And we'll keep bail that. Oh, helps if you unfold the harvester. There we go, she's unfolding on the top. Everything's good, the chopper and that square is looking good, so I think without any further ado, let's get harvesting. There we go. And yeah, this will make light work compared to our last combine we had. I think it's a decent size for these fields. God forbid I was gonna be like doing that mega field and that. But yeah, the straw's looking good coming out. Consistent enough, so hopefully this is some good quality crop. And if we have had the yield issue, we know it's going to be great, but... Yeah, it's around like 80% mark, I think. 77... I think it's 79%, 8%, so... We're looking good here. We are absolutely smashing, so I think there's really not much else to do here. It's just continue on smashing us out. On the tree. When we get full, we'll bring the green car over, empty that into that. And then I think, really, that could go straight away to feed chickens, or well, chicklings and ducklings. And sure now, plan is we won't bathe it, put in storage. Because then we can use that to make some delicious TMR for the cows. Got 40 hay bells. Turn of slice bells, so why not? So yeah. Let's go and get us done. And I'll see you folks in a few moments.
there we go, that is the harvesting done. So we've got 40,000 euros in a green bin and, or in a green bin or go at the moment. We have filled up the trailer and yeah, we can't feed the chicks or ducks in. Oops, I completely forgot about that. But hey, who? Lesson learned. So we're going to have to buy feed for the chicks and ducklings for the next year now. Because we have to plant wheat. So if we have a look here, so wheat or barley that is planted in September and harvest in July. So yeah. Bit of a oopsie on my part there. But hey who that is a harvesting done. There we go. Just whack that on the trailer. We'll get this moved back into storage. But we've gone and bailed everything, got it all stacked up and needed. So that is 37 bells there. 11,000 litres each, so that is 403,000 litres of straw there. That'll be a good amount for bedding, TMR, and all that other good stuff. So, But even heck, if we use this as TMR, we can always buy bells and that for. You know, the cows and that. But anywho, we'll get this put in storage. I guess I would love to have all these bells, like, you know, stored separately and that, but it's just one of those things, the limitations we've got at the moment with the bells and that. I produce so many bells. Unless we process them straight away. But so we got. 40 hay bells, 37 straw bells, and 188 slice bells in storage at the moment. So not too bad, I mean that's quite a bit of TMR. So I think if we do one straw bell, one hay bell, and one slice bell, that should be enough, and then we can always pad it out with hay and silage. But I think the hay, well really, try to pad it out with straw as much as possible. Because hay and silage, you can always make a bunch of those easily. All within reason of easiness. But anywho, now it's time to do the mowing. And I think if we do silage with this bunch here, because obviously if we decide to make hay in that, Sort of the gate's effect of having this because we're going to have to tether it anyways. Anywho, make sure that is swath dropping. Especially with this field here, we'll cultivate everything up. I think for the farming score, direct drain is better. Maybe we try that, wait till September, and then do that perhaps, but yeah, this won't take us too long. I think it's once we get the area boundaries done. I think that's the thing I love about the Chrome Big M. It does the mowing and the wind, wind rowing all in one go. And it's like a 10 meter working width. So it's actually bigger than the one we're using at the moment by I think about 0 0.7 meters, half a meter or something like that. And it's very versatile, it's very maneuverable. So things like the tight hedges and that tight fences, especially on some of these fields we go to for contract work and that. It just makes it so much easier. And pretty 
much as that. You're almost done with this field. Actually, this won't take us too long. I think we'll definitely hit the one hour mark. Doing all the other fields and that for sure. There we go. But yeah, is this grass ready to mow? I think it is, right? Yep, yeah, that is ready to mow, so. That's the thing. Smashing. Or do we turn this into a. A grass field here. Yeah, do we just turn this into a grass field now? Get a cheap cut of hay out of it in September. Yeah, we could do that. Uh, some stumps, I think we forgot as well about as well. There's like one stump over there by the fence where those were. And a few other bits, but so let's have a breather here for a sec. Hop into the beater. Okay, I've got it hooked up at the moment. Actually, we should do right. No, no, I guess not. Ah, yeah, that's because I use this uh, up so. But yeah, let's sort of do a demonstration of how quick this fills up. Obviously, this only picks up at 9 miles an hour. I'll say only. It's quick enough. And now, I guarantee that's going to be converted into... Oh no, we'll get one more ape out of this. I'm guessing that's because it transferred over to the second compartment. So you know what? I think if you do that, get a massive size cut from this. And then we will plant, get a massive hay field out of this. Have a mega move session before planting a mega field of wheat. But yeah, I think it fills it up relatively quick enough. Obviously, swat drone now, it Obviously, do those big massive swap piles. It has its pros and cons, obviously, the time of getting the piles together. Especially when you go around like rough and oddly shaped fields, you'll get like, a three point area, so you got to try to get like, three ends and put that into a straight line almost. But it's not always possible, but obviously, I'm using it wrong. I think the actual way that like, if you hire a worker now, it would be. It'll do two swaths, go up on the left, so swath will be, so it'll go up here, grass will come out here as a swath, it'll come back down the other way, and then it'll start a new row. Now, what are you doing here? Hey, what are you doing? Boop! Yes, that's already two slice bells. I have no idea how much we'll get from this, all the grass and that. But anyways, we will continue on with this, get us all done. And I'll see you folks in a few moments.
go. We are done with all the silage work. And we're into August because we had to wait another month. Because we hit the 200 bell limit. And yeah, actually recording this bit now it has been a while since I've done all the other bits of the last episodes. I was doing most of this episode to start off with. But then Quartz Farms came up so I thought, you want to do one or two episodes on the bank. But then it just ended up rolling into six episodes and ended up recording over a couple of days. But anyways, we're back on by spring. So we've got some wheat. I'm going the wrong way, yeah, because we need to go up to the store, so... But yeah, so what we have been doing is money's gone up significantly. Uh, for one, we've done a few size contracts. We did three decent size size contracts. Sold them at the BGA where we could. And then one came to ours. What go? No, no, we'll go up there. Bear for a sec. As I was saying, so where the contracts was accepting done the BJ because it was all for the BJ that's why I took all three because they were fields 144 121 and oh, what was the other fields 121 144 and I think it was something like 86 yeah 86 it was On top of that we did some harvesting contracts for 151 we're just finish off this contract here for 77 and the reason for doing these contracts were mainly going to the mindset of court farms doing some contracts. But yeah, this will be the last one we'll do in a while. We don't need any more money. Obviously, with our 262 grand, we can get well, pretty much clear our debts off, pretty much. There's only 200 grand we own. However, I thought about it, and I thought it's time to harvest the soybeans. Let's get some money in, and obviously, we've got to harvest. 108. We'll do that in the next episode. There's also another field. 124. Obviously, it ain't gonna be as great of a yieldage. That one's 98 grand for that. That's a bit more expensive per hectare as well. 71 versus 66. But I was thinking, you know what? We'll buy this plot of land here. 3.55 hectares. Obviously, we want to get something like this. We was on about getting this. However, 74, maybe sort of a quick work of the field. Obviously, I'm going to shrink the field, clip it off, you know, in terms of. I'll go right here. In terms of harvesting and then send it. What we will do, however, is harvest the fields, prep the fields, fertilize it, get a full application of fertilizer in, put a crop in. Because what crops can we do? Ooh, going to se September, I'm thinking wheat and barley. So if we get a contract for that, then, you know. That's very good for us in terms of our contract for grain. I will try to keep as much as this we can for our chickens, our ducklings, sorry, our ducklings and ducklings and oh yeah, chicks. Ducklings and our chicks. But anyway, so at the cell point now. So yeah, let's see how much we'll get from this. So maybe it'll be like a couple of thousand years left over. Eighty-five percent transported. Really? You know, I know what? Okay, we'll just set it. I'll buy some ch cheap green in for chickens. Jackson duckies. Okay, I'm thinking. Ooh. Got a pretty much 
much similar one already to one of these, but as I was saying, I'm thinking pallets. Uh, which one's it? Wheat. Let's give them. Can we give them barley? Yes, we can. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll find out that's all of our money. Ten grand on some feed for our chickens and duckies. And that'll be worth it. We'll get them loaded up. So, we need to grab the. Uh, what's it? The goose egg trailer. We get the zebra loaded up onto that. But we do have some stuff to sell some produce. I know it's not the best price now, but. How much is it for our lettuce and tomatoes and all that? If it's not rock bottom, then I'll sell. We're into August, so decent prices. So, buy spree in, buy spree in, and sell everything. Where's that two on the map? Ah, it's over there. That's a new sell point. So, let's go and grab the pickup. That's still there, we've still got that lease out, and we've been paying expensively for the lease and fees, including the mower that we did elapse into today, or this month. Yeah. That was a bit of a mistake. Is there still green in there? Yep, still green in there, we'll get out of here as well. Something's over there now. Because yeah, that's another thing we did as well off camera. We did some tree clearing, some just little trees around the area now. I thought about removing, so we removed those. And we got 250,000 of wood chips. And yep, yeah, I said it now, you know, get 125 grand, 130, 50. But not a full of weight. Let's wait for the winter, wait till February. And then before next year, so when we go and plant spring barley and all that stuff, we can set ourselves up, buy some fields. I do want to do potatoes, so those wood chips, they're going to make us a lot of money. So, got the lever over here. Ah, uh, yeah, that's another thing as well. TMR, we've been full about, did a little test on that. And this seems to work now, so if we open this up, there is still a size bell now that hasn't been consumed. But what we've done, we put one short bell, 11,000 litres, one hay, and two silage. And at that 3,000, that's a perfect mix. It's like the maximum match rule. Perhaps a bit more hay in that. But I think really, slightly is just the easier one to deal with. Ah, no more capacity. Ah, yeah, that's also another thing. We topped them up, didn't we? Well, we could give our calf some TMR, can we? But yeah, I think let's get a bunch of this prepped in that as well. But yeah, we'll sort of demonstrate it once, because we do have stuff to do. So let's go and stop this in. Tips are right. So that is being consumed. Where is that site each spell was consumed? Already. Must be nearly a little bit left. But there we go, that is 30,000 litres. And just quickly test if we grab this. Go over here, grab one of these. Oh, 
by into the mixer. Oh, oh they fall out. Oh, that guy's hate about these forms, it sort of sticks. Too much of this now. But see, the straw's going in, and the heat's being consumed. And for those just so who's free alone, that's a decent ratio. So I'm thinking we do with a bit more silage. So, again, grab enough silage belt. Just grab one more. Because actually, if we give them more silage than anything else, that actually is ideal because that's easier for us to do. The hay that requires to head in that, you know, it's an extra process. So, what we can get away with. Give them more silage, just the better. Maximum silage and maximum amount of straw, so may experiment with that. There we go, it's gone in. But yeah, anyway, so we'll leave that there. We need to grab the loader. Not a loader, but this. And grab this, and then we'll start sending some produce. So let's go and grab these. Get the mom's so we'll put that, that in the crate. But these, we'll just whack on. Decent prices at the moment, so you know what? Heck it. Do have a little bit of an income just to hold us over till the end of the harvest season and into the winter. Because the oats that we harvested, yeah, that was a mistake. But then again, it is time to plant our winter crop. So we can do a winter wheat, a winter barley. Well, I'm thinking barley. Heard some rumours from the Great Vine. That apparently, barley yields more compared to wheat. So. That'd be an interesting test to see. Our little nuggies and all that. They can appreciate those, so we'll go and do those. But yeah, I should get a few grand for these. Again, we've only had these for what? A couple of months now, so... Obviously not expecting record profits and all that. But you know what? It's just something. Something told us over, so that's I guess I well, know about 18 20 grand. Let's say 20 grand. What you call on something. There we go. But yeah, so we've got the lever crawler on its way over to the shop. Was that an invisible collision? Oh, I'm not sure. Okay, that was an collision now. Oh, it's like three crashes within one minute. I think it's actually more like three crashes within three seconds. But three seconds is within a minute, so three crashes in a minute does sound better to me, so we're having three seconds. Yeah, so in is just on top of here. It is literally at its junction to the right and there is the pub so I didn't realise the pub actually needed some of these produces. Oh, I guess it makes sense that you know strawberries for dessert like I don't know cheesecakes or something or strawberries and creams or 
crops of strawberries with some scones. There's the tomatoes, or oh, they're your regular veg now, so I guess it makes sense. Ooh, Guinness. Could do with a pint of guinea right now. Fair enough, I'm more of a sunset boy, more of a Thatcher's gold. I say that. Those new blood oranges are coming out with. Ah, they're nice actually. Wow, that is more than enough for 33,800 quid. No, wait, 36 grand because uh, that's 2300 for the environmental score bonus, so. That's actually really good. But yeah, perhaps, I don't know, maybe in there after we're done for the day. You know, pop in, see if they got any Thatchers. If not, a point in is, and yeah, that'll do for me. Okay, that's a bit. Oof, well, that's a lot of pallets there. Yeah, let's get you served up, take him over to the farm, and heck, we may even buy some more pads. You know, to have a stockpile until next year. Because I don't know how much of this they're going to consume. And it still needs to grow as well. And there we go, a minor disaster later. Yeah, not sure if he did a time lapse or that because it was very choppy with the frames and that. But yeah, it was so heavy having 105,000 litres of barley. I think they each pad away 3.6 tonnes, so we were trying to pull 72 tonnes of this little pickup. So we had to borrow this from the dealership. It's a Volvo F FH16 550. Yeah, she wasn't too bad. Overall, made here okay, apart from a near little tumble, which we had to take some load off. Hence, why the temporary barge is also from the ship, just to put some of the barley in there. Yeah, so put 16,000 years in there. Another give or take. Shove the rest in here. And that should be enough for now. Let's have a little look here. A little duckies and chickies. Funny enough, ducks need more feed, and we've got more. We've got 200 chickies and only 180 duckies. But they require more food. It's no nuts. Yes, so no we'll quickly return these to the dealership. But yes, so anyways, that is where I think we're gonna leave it today. So next time we got soybean harvest, got to harvest our new soybean fields as well. No idea what the fertilizer state is gonna be like on that. Actually, we can check it now, so... I think if we have a little look... Uh, not that. Precision farming. Purchase or data. Yeah, we know it's silty clay and all that. Just having a look. There we go. So, we want to go to... PH. So I've had a guess it's okay, but could be better. So I doubt we'll get the best of yieldage, but it's one of those things, it's what it is. It's a free crop in that. So we'll do the fields, we may sell the fields. I mean, heck, we may even keep the fields, you know. How much have we got here? 146,000 litres. But yeah, we may not keep the fields. I don't know yet. We're just going to have to wait and see, see how it goes. We'll prep the field, put a crop in, and see how we are come winter. 
But also, we've got to start doing the TMR, start giving these cows TMR. But that's going to be a bit of a ways away. But, but anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to put down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not straight trying yet, then please consider them. But, for a do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, this is me, Farmer Evo Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.